summertime is over, sadly. I'm really sad that summer is over. It's getting colder outside. And where I live, that means it's freezing a lot. Usually the high temperature during the day is below freezing. And I have a lot of bottles and different tack cleaners and stuff in my tack room that I take out for the summertime. But now since it's winter, I'm going to bring all of this stuff inside. And I actually have a lot of bridles and stuff that I really don't use. So I thought I would bring them inside, clean them up and put them up for sale on eBay. I might as well sell them and let someone else get some use out of them. What do you think? So today I'm just going to take you guys around a tour while I am cleaning out my tack room and my feed room with all of my liquid stuff and stuff that I just really don't need anymore. So I'm going to get rid of. And if you notice, I keep staring at the corner because there is a freaking huge nasty black widow spider on the wall and it's just wrong oh just wrong so i want to get all of my stuff out of here and get rid of the spiders i hate spiders okay that was just really really uncomfortable for me i i it's like a phobia i get i don't think it's a phobia it's just it is what it is and i do not like spiders so I am going to go grab everything out of my tack room as hastily as possible because I just don't want to be in there with that black widow. So I'm going to try to set up my camera so you guys can watch me hurriedly put everything into my tack trunk and take it out of the tack room because it's just wrong. Ugh, it's just so bad. Did not get attacked by a black little spire. It's still right there. I think it's dead. I don't know. I'm not touching it to find out. At least not now. But so all of my bridles are out. Pretty much everything is out. I have to move those sheets. And then my first aid supplies, some of them will stay in here. And some polar wraps and stuff because they won't be affected by the cold. Some of the tape will, the vet wrap might. So I will bring some inside, but for the most part, everything else is gonna stay here. Looks like I'm moving out. Old riding helmet. Lunge whip, some other whips and stuff. But I think what I'm gonna do is bring my horse jumps in here and store them in here over the winter, but I'm gonna paint those and update them and then I'll bring them in here. So this might end up being a jump closet instead of a tack room, but I always end up using my feed room 
as my tech and staging area anyway. So I don't know, but for now, most of the stuff is out of here. And now let's go on to the feed room. Oh, <laughs> hi again. So this is the little barn. This is where I've actually done a lot of my videos. And a lot of the stuff that I have up on this shelf, it really shouldn't be allowed to freeze. So I'm going to take a bunch of this stuff inside to protect it from freezing because there's nothing worse than going to use something and it's frozen. So I don't want it to be frozen. So I'm going to put the stuff that's perishable, I guess is a good way to say it, inside the house. So that way it stays room temperature. And that way, in case I need to use it, um, it will be ready to use. also my tack room to where I'm going to be keeping it over the winter. I did keep some of my tack outside for right now because it is still nice enough to ride so I can get out and ride Ethan especially on the weekends or when I have a day off. So I don't want to put my saddle away or my bridle while it's still nice enough that I can ride because if I keep it out there that just makes it easier for me to get out there and get on Ethan. But I did bring my perishables into, this is my garage. It's really messy and I'm sorry, but it kind of is what it is. This is a workshop, this is a garage. We don't put our cars in here, but I do build a lot of horse jumps and a lot of horse related projects. So it's a garage, it's not beautiful and it is very well used, but it will keep my perishable stuff safe over the winter when it gets below freezing outside in my barn. And then I can still come out and have access to everything if I need it. So I just put everything into an old storage unit cubby thing, whatever you want to call it. And I figured it was better to keep this and use it instead of just throwing it away. So it works really well for me for keeping my shampoos, tack cleaners, miscellaneous horse stuff, I can keep it in here during the winter. And my MTG, I actually use this a lot. So I can come out here and get it and then I can put it on the horses and then bring it back out here and it's safe from freezing. And for right now, I do have my tack trunk out here. which is filled to the brim with different items that I'm not really using or I'm considering not using. So different things in here I probably will be listing for sale on eBay because it's silly for me to have 15 bridles and 1500 saddle pads it seems like if I'm not gonna use them. And I'd really like someone else to be able to get some use out of them and they're just taking up space so this is a really good time of year to sell stuff on eBay. So I figure in the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna list all of this stuff on eBay. Super cheap, I'm gonna start it at like 99 cents. Will it sell? I bet it will. Will I make any money? Possibly, but I can use that money for jumps or for whatever else I want to horse related and someone else is gonna get something really cool. So if you're looking for a really cheap horse tack, I'm doing a shameless plug. In the next couple of weeks, I will be listing a bunch of bridles and just random horse stuff for sale on eBay. I will let you guys know right before that happens. So if you did want to bid on something, you could, and then you could say, hey, this belonged to Lisa, the budget equestrian. I got something from her. Or you could just have a really nice bridle or a saddle pad that really hasn't been used a lot. But I do like to make sure that my stuff is going to last. So that's why I bring it in during the winter time when I know I won't be able to use it as much as I would during the summertime. And I don't want all of this really cool stuff to freeze. And I don't want to harm the leather. So that's why I bring everything in. 
And it's a little bittersweet because that means I'm not going to have a lot of time to be spending riding my horses. But that does give me more time to come out here into my garage and build some jumps and come up with some really fun DIY projects for you and for me. And the positive is I will have some extra time to build some really cool stuff. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. Just click on my picture at the end of this video, my picture, and you can subscribe to my channel and see all of the new videos that I have. I try to upload three videos a week, sometimes more. I wish it could be every day, but that just can't happen right now. Again, thanks so much for watching and until next time, stay passionate and enjoy your ride.